be joined by Coach Crean, and we're going to start off with Jed May and then Anthony Dasher. Uh, hey, Coach. Um, I wanted to ask you specifically. Get a little about... Hold on one second. Give me a little okay, good. Hold on one second. There we go. I'll do it myself. There we go. We got it. I can't right. control it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Cool. Um, I wanted to ask you specifically about Andrew Garcia tonight. You know, it seemed like he was coming up with big plays left and right, whether it's and ones on the offensive end. You know, he – I guess you turned to him to guard Tyson Walker a lot in the second half. Just – what can you say about a guy like that and what he brings to this team, just making those huge plays on both ends of the court? Well, he showed, he showed again, he's a basketball player. Like I said to the team after the game, we showed ourselves on Saturday night that we could compete and, and be tough and have really good energy against a good, experienced, uh, big conference team in Cincinnati. And, and we could respond to that size differential. Well, tonight, not only did we learn how to get out of a hole, which we shouldn't have been in, but most importantly, we learned that we've got individual guys that can step up and change the game in, 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 in an unnatural position. And that's one of the reasons that we spend so much time uh, having bigger guys guard guards in practice, guards guard bigger guys. I've got to do an even better job of that now. We've gotten away from it a little bit. But Andrew Garcia, Ty Fagan, those guys really showed. When we, when we made the adjustments, we knew at some point inside of the game the key to guarding Tyson Walker uh, was going to be to to make sure we put some length and size on him, some physicality. And we probably should have done it earlier. But when we did it with Andrew and we did it with Ty, then we turned it into denying him in the second half. I thought it really turned the game. Hey, Coach, again, just kind of kind of, kind of what I was going to ask you about is well for the defense. Is that a purple uh, sweatshirt? That's not an LSU sweatshirt, is it? No, no I just want my wife picked that for me tonight. I don't oh dress goodness. myself going to games. You don't pick out your own clothes? No, I don't. I'm not, you, you, I'd be wearing Hawaiian shirts all the time if that were the case. Goodness gracious. You shouldn't have gave that up because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride with that. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Now, let's go back, Matt, you, how this team has been able to use this defense to kind of get, get things going. I mean, you talked about that several times this year and tonight, especially. That's really what kind of you know, keeps sure. you on well, the first half, we, we didn't follow our game plan. We, 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 we lost our energy. We were incredibly ready to play. I have no doubt about that. And they were excited to go, but – it was almost like the air went out of our balloon when they made a couple of shots and we turned it over. And then we became a step too slow defensively and we overhelped, which was the number one key to the game is to not overhelp because the way number two finds the shooters. And um, we did. I mean, we just kind of we just kind of lost our focus and because the ball wasn't going in the basket as much. And we've got to outgrow that. But the bottom line is the defense really did pick up. We had 32 deflections in the second half. Uh, we held them to 5 30 in the second half. We outscored them 44 to 13. We had some tremendous differences in plus minus in the second half. Another game, we had three guys in double figures on the deflection. So uh, we made strides, and that's just what we have to understand. That's how we're going to win. But what I liked about tonight is Severe could guard somebody bigger, because, and he was very comfortable with it, and they didn't like it. And we could go bigger on a smaller guard, and the guard didn't like it. And um, I, I, one of the reasons I didn't really panic at all in the first half is because we were missing layups, we were missing free throws, and they were really trying to push the pace. And I just wasn't quite sure that, that they would be able to do that the entire game. But we had to make some shots and get our, get our defense going and get some three stops in a row. We didn't have three stops in a row at all in the second half, and I think, or in the first half, and I think in the second half we had six or seven. All right, next let's have Davis Baker and then Mike Gregor. Uh, hey, Coach. Um, how important do you think it is to have multiple comeback attempts uh, like you've had so far in non-conference play, especially as you had in the SEC play? Well, I think, it's, I think it's huge. You don't like it when it's happening, but you certainly appreciate it when it's over because it, there's a lot of different experiences, and, and we've had a lot of different experiences. And, and whether it's a pace game, whether we've got to come back, whether we've got to build on a lead, there's a, there's a ton of room for this team to get better. I mean, that is ultimately the bottom line. And, and um, and putting 40 minutes together. But to learn those things and to have those experiences are really, really important because, I mean, if we go on the road and we get our head down like that and, and we, don't, we, don't, we don't have moment, nobody changes momentum for us defensively or rebounding wise or talk wise, we'll get, we'll get cracked. And we've got to learn that. We've got to learn through that. And, and, but to come back tonight, the way we came back with the defense and the rebounding, uh, and then the fact that they had 15 points off our turnovers in the first half, and in the second half, they only got three. That, that is as big a stat as there is in the game for us. 
Coach uh, Tamani again, second half. Can you just talk about about his surge? I mean, he he, he really seems to be the pivotal guy on this on this team. He is, yeah, and he's not even one hundred percent healthy right now, Mike. I mean, we've we've been limited with him in practice, and uh, he did a really good job. I don't think I took him off the floor in the second half till I took him out at the very end, and uh, he and he had three fouls during that, so he did a really good job. You know, we took Severe out when he had four, but uh, bottom line, he's versatile. He's got to become one of those guys that can get up and guard a guard like that. Uh, constantly um but he's very aggressive again he had 13 deflections um and and he's he's playing with confidence he's not playing 100 percent healthy but he's playing with confidence all right up next is have tori heck and then griffin callahan hey coach kind of following up on that question how important is it for you from a coaching standpoint with the experience you've had how much does that come into play when you're in a game like this for me personally mm -hmm. i don't panic Right, I don't panic. I'm I'm reading the game. Uh, it takes time to understand your team, you know, to learn your team, and uh, so there's learning process that you get over the first few weeks of playing games that you apply in your mindset. Like we were missing layups, you know, that, that the bottom line. We were missing free throws. We were quiet. Now, if that, if those, if the, if the quietness and the activity didn't change, then we get beat and we get beat badly. But I was confident that it would, and I think. When I say I never panic, I just, I keep my energy up and then looking to make the adjustments. And we made the adjustment uh, of going bigger on Walker. And then we made the adjustment in the second half to deny him the ball back best we could. And our guys did an excellent job of that. So um, I think when you go through a lot of situations, uh, you got to stay positive. You just got to, you, 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 these kind of games uh, around Christmas, okay, you better be upbeat because you might have to grind through it because, because, Mentality-wise, no matter how hard you practice, okay, one of two things going to happen. They were either locked in, okay, which we weren't at the beginning, even though I very much thought we were, or you're going to come out and you're going to cruise. And, and we didn't cruise. So we learned a lot inside of this game. And it was just really a matter of, of getting that talk back. It's not about lighting somebody up and being after them. It's, it's, it's just about continue to be positive and talking facts and clarity, not talking emotion. Thanks, coach. Yeah, hey, coach. How how I big think that sweater? I think that sweater he's wearing is purple. I think he's that's an LSU color. I just think a little bit. I really do. Can I see that again, Anthony? Can we put Anthony Dash up there again? I swear that thing is purple. Anthony, will you say something? Purple is a Christmas color. I thought. I mean, am I wrong about it that? It looks purple. That looks purple. It is, that's purple. Okay. it is purple. It is purple. Yeah, it is purple. It looks LSU to me. Okay, but that's no, okay. That's I okay. My brother-in-law went there, but that's a different story. That's okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Coach. How how big of a factor do, do you Griffin think? Griffin might have on purple, too, but I can't see him. So he, he could have a purple one on, too. But go ahead, Griffin. Yeah, no purple. Sorry about that. Um, how, how big of a factor do you think that foul trouble was for you tonight with uh, Savir and Tumani? And then how big of a factor do you think it was in, uh, you know, the comeback when Walker got his fourth foul? Oh, getting, getting him his fourth foul was huge. It was absolutely huge. And, and uh, we got him on the post up, you know, which was, which was big. Um, so, no, there's no doubt. And he still played 33 minutes. So, uh, I don't want to – 33 and a half minutes. I don't want to look at it and say that was the difference in the game. But him being out, we were already making our run – when he went out and we were able to build on it. Um, I think the fact the way Justin Carr played, like without Michael Starks uh, available right now, the bottom line for us is we cannot have Justin uh, and Severe off the court at the same time, even though they're both starters. So there's going to be extended minutes and Severe had more extended minutes off the floor because of the fourth foul. And uh, we were playing time and score in that situation. And um, because you, you always have to prepare, like you're going to need that guy at the end of the game. So you don't want to put him in too early, but um um, I think it's crucial that we were able to overcome the foul issues, that they didn't become tougher. We wanted to keep them, especially Walker, off the foul line. Um, that was a big deal. He was 0 of 1. I think he had 33 free throws in four games coming into the game. So keeping him off the, off the line was another key to this game. But uh, we made our adjustments, and we were able to work through the fouls. All right, and last question will be Palmer Thames. No purple over here, Coach. I see um, that. You look like you're, you look like you're back where I'm from in Michigan with that. It was 55 <laughs> degrees today. People were in shorts. Is it that cold in your house? I'm home, Coach. Okay. Um, you know, you said you learned something about your team today. Um, you know, I guess, first of all, 
what would that be that you learned? And I guess second, uh, you know, we saw four four threes made by some of the big guys. Uh, what does that say about the versatility of this offense that that can happen? Five different guys can lead the team in scoring uh, over a course of a single game and, and uh, the confidence of your offense going into SEC play. Well, we got to get better offensively, uh, big time. There's no doubt about that. And I think we will. And, and, and a big part of that's going to be our shooting. You know, decision-making, quicker passing, one dribble earlier uh, in our shooting. And I think we made four threes in the, in the uh, uh, first half. The good news is we held them down. Um, but but um, um, the biggest thing I learned, I think I said this, is that, that, that we had different guys, bigger guys that could step up and they could, they could go in different matchups and guard a guard. And Severe could guard a bigger guy over an extended period of time, not just in a switch game, you know, because we didn't want to be as much in a switch game. But we got a little more aggressive with trapping and then trying to make sure that we weren't letting uh, Tyson get the ball back as much as we could. And, uh, and that bothered him. And then 24 had a good game, but we were able to do a pretty good job of, of, of limiting him as well. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody.